Hello, this is Matt again, and uh, dry fire practice is something that a lot of people should do, but they really don't. Dry firing is something that you can do in order to help diagnose problems with your shooting, trigger control, stance, all that sort of thing. And frankly, it can be boring. And one way that you can make it a little bit more interactive and help is with one of these. Now I've written a story on my blog about this laser light system. I like this. I use it a lot. I have had no problems with it whatsoever. So the system is, this is the TLB1 laser target. You have to purchase a cartridge according to the caliber of your firearm this cartridge being nine millimeters. How this works is your firing pin strikes this area here. A laser is emitted from this end for 100 milliseconds. So let's check this out and see how it works. Here we have a Glock 26. Safety check. There is nothing in there. No magazine and nothing in the chamber. So I'm going to take the cartridge, insert it into the chamber, and let's see how it works. First, I turn it on. Then I can just simply take aim, and you see the laser strike the target. If you want to look at your results, you hit display, and there's where those two shots ended up. Hit reset, and you're ready to go again. So for this example, let me get the 12 o'clock position on the target. Well, it's one over at 3 o'clock. About six o'clock, nine, and then somewhere in the center. There you go. Hit reset again. And how can this help you diagnose a problem? Let's say that you're really mashing the trigger. Watch how the laser moves if the gun is in motion at the time because you're mashing the trigger. Try that again. One more time. So, you see how that works. But this can help you to achieve consistency when it comes to shot placement and your trigger control. Take a third shot. Now, you only see two LEDs that are lit up and that's because of the density of the LEDs around here. So this is good. This is what it is meant for. Because you and I both know that sometimes you can develop problems, especially with your grip and your trigger. So let's uh, give a really bad example here. I've got way too much and too much finger in there. And I'm pulling back and I'm dragging or I'm just mashing it down and you'll see that happen. Now, to see it just happen on the target, I'm going to set up my grip exactly the same way and I'm going to mash it. So, there you go. It's a good tool. It helps 
you're going to save money, uh, save your ammunition f at the range, easily used indoors, varying yardages. Uh, I have used this target out to roughly 20 yards with no issues whatsoever. I've only had to replace the batteries in this unit once. So try dry firing. It will help. It allows you to really get that front sight focus that you need, see where your rounds are hitting before you go to the range. So, good shooting, be safe, we'll see you later.